Well, just now I was playing that piece of music with this rubber band stretched across the chaining pins, and for comparison, I interlaid that with the same piece of music without it. I did that was just to demonstrate that, as regards the sound quality of the music that's being performed on the auto harp, it makes no difference whatsoever. So, what is the purpose of the rubber band on the chaining pins? So, when I'm not playing the auto harp, what I can do is that with this rubber band, I can stow away the auto harp and keep the Alaskan picks safely together with the auto harp. And I'll just show you how. So here I have a large sized Alaskan pick and as you can tell with the Alaskan pick it has two slots the upper one which is narrower and the lower one which is wider so with the wider slot what I do is that at the center of the wider slot I just slide it through so here I have a medium sized Alaskan pick and so once again I can slide the tuning pin through the center part of the, the wider slot without any problems and here I've got a small sized Alaskan pick and once again I can slide a tuning pin through the middle of the wider slot without any problems and similarly this is another small sized Alaskan pick. So once they are in place what I can do is that with their standard sized rubber band I simply stretch it over and across five tuning pins in order to hold down the four Alaskan picks like this. So as regards these four Alaskan picks, they're all now securely held in by that rubber band. So when I stow the auto harp away, they're all held in securely. So that is all for this video. Just a very short video demonstrating how one can use a simple stand-up rubber band as a holder for the Alaskan finger picks so that we can safely keep the Alaskan picks with the auto harp when we're not playing. So I hope you found this information useful. If you do have any comments, suggestions or feedback, then do leave them down below. Otherwise, in the meantime, until next time, have a nice day.